Welcome everybody to another episode of Gary Responds and this baby is coming along. Private skate park, here we come. Let's get it. Coming at you from the echo chamber. Sorry, we will never film in here again, by the way, for the skate line niggas that really know what happened. Sorry about that. But let me just get it started, start reading these comments. Mike Justice says, daily reminder that Epstein didn't kill himself. Bro, what the fuck? Are you not here, nigga. No, uh, uh skate line. Actually, no, I'm willing to talk about anything. Just not. Isn't that some political shit? That's the dude that was in jail and they found him. It was jail. He did something wrong. It's crazy. Shit happens. Sorry for that motherfucker. I don't know, but okay. Thanks for putting us on, Mike Justice. MJ. Derek Hill says, imagine wearing, imagine Tiago wearing slim pants and a fitting shirt. Yeah, like how does Tiago let like how does he pull up to an interview? <laughs> if he's like not skating, <laughs> like how was he back in the day, like big ass suits like the NBA players and shit? Or he's like, I've got to skate my ass off so I can wear whatever the fuck I want every day. Shit is showing if that's what he's on. Uh, Alex O'Donnell says, well, I'm about to stock up on Tiago DCs. You should, cause that shit's over. Thing of the past. You know how people are about the old shit now. You could resell it and you're, bro, I'm back on that Tiago shit. Like, bro, it's crazy how old shit is finding value now. All the shit I threw away. Niggas won't. Seasonal Gang says, Biggie was just chilling in his car. Facts, LMAO, fucking Gary. No, it's funny, cause I, I think of Tupac and Biggie all the time. Like I try to analyze that shit, like from you know my perspective. That literally is what happened. You never really know what happened, but that nigga for sure didn't make sure nothing happened to the other side, so. That nigga, he was just releasing an album, and he was sitting in his car. It's crazy. Biggie had hits too, man. Hits! Shit that still ring me, you hear that shit now? Uh, uh, in the club today. 20 some years later, nigga, you still sicker than your average. Papa Troops on instinct, niggas can't think. Don't give me copyright on YouTube. I can use two seconds of anybody's lyrics. Craig Lee White says, Thank you, Gary, from Craig in England. Shout out Craig Lee White. England! Anton1234 says, Mark Suchu put out a 12 minute part in David Gonzalez, like, what? Like, damn, David Gonzalez, like, I got a work to do. I got a work to do. I thought I was reading that stupid, like, something's wrong with you. You said, I got a work to do. Oh, but then again, David does talk like that. I got a work to do. Okay, I see what you did there. Yeah, so he went out and did his thing. David Gonzalez, welcome back, man. You was killing shit. Not She says, shout out from Norway. I love Norway. I love Oslo. And I'm going to go back. And if I get rich, I'm probably going to live out there. Because Oslo, Norway, nigga, y'all got sun till 4 o'clock in the morning. Then again, your winter time be playing and you light for two hours a day. So that's weird. I literally have 20 minutes of light. 204 Greenery says, Gary, what do you think of Deerdick? I think Rob Deerdick made himself a very successful skateboarder and I got nothing but love and appreciation for that. No matter, you know, he took his little whatever route to do it, but he, he skated, you know what I'm saying? He made skits, he got himself noticed, and he grew from it and went to all these other companies and started TV shows and shit, and that's pretty cool. Now he has like background stories about certain shit he did to push himself up. So does everybody with success, niggas just become weird. But other than that, he did his thing. I was just watching a DC video in a bar last night, so that's crazy. And I don't even drink. So you know I was just in that motherfucker watching that bitch. <laughs> To the Batmobile says, out of all the Brazilian skaters, who do y'all think has the, a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu? It's like a guessing game. Is this like a real person that would actually have it? Cause Luan, man, have you ever seen that nigga kickflip? He look like he'll kick you dead in your neck and you'll die immediately. I would hate to get kicked by Luan. That's crazy. Corey Landowski says, I could be wrong, but I believe Diego got on primitive to begin with because he was friends with Shane. And that is a possibility because that did all happen like around the same time. But still, nigga, he was on primitive. That don't change shit. He was there. Ken Cross says, can I get a third link, Gary? No, nigga, but I can wrap this episode of Gary Responds and just disappoint you with two fire ass amazing links. Just two. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna duplicate one of them. So it'll look like three, just to hook it up to Ken Cross. But I'm gonna wrap this, go away. Three links. Nope, two, really. 